Your recon flight has revealed a weakness in Bedio's defenses. Their positions are concentrated seaward, so our strategy is to land troops via the lagoon and destroy the defenses from the ground. Your mission is to target the defensive positions so at least half of our amphibious assault vehicles can land. Other wings will deal with other targets, so stick to your section of the beach. Additionally, there are a number of strategic targets we need taken out, such as the fortified naval guns and concrete bunkers near the airfield. This is going to be tough. Are you tough enough, Lieutenant Crow? Listen up, people. This mission is the most important one we've been on in the last year, and I don't want anyone screwing it up. Watch your fire around the Marines, and careful when doing bombing runs. All fighters, take off immediately and head to the island. Marine forces are expecting you shortly. Roger, sir. Moving to the target area. Get the let out, boys. Those Marines are really up against it today. Form up, people. Roger that. Guys, I'm losing manifold pressure. Lots of smoke. Looks like I've blown a gasket somewhere. Turn him back. Damn it! Oh, okay, Tom. Can't be helped. Try not to crack her up on the way back. Roger that, sir. Good luck, boys. Hold up, sir!
side. Tom Stewart was lucky, too lucky. His engine trouble was too convenient. 
He was back on the carrier safe in his bunk while we were fighting for our lives against the 13th Squadron. The other pilots were furious. They wanted his blood. They found Stewart in his bunk. They pulled him out, screaming traitor, Jap lover, and worse. Callahan and I could barely stop them from stringing him up right there. We got him out of there and back to Callahan's room. Tom pleaded with us. He promised he wasn't a traitor, that he hadn't sold us out to the Japs. I wanted to believe him, but there was part of me that wasn't sure. But the other guys, they wouldn't fly with him anymore. And even if he did fly with us again, he'd be likely to get a tail full of U.S. issue bullets. Callahan grounded him and took his wings away. He said it was for Stewart's own safety, but I think it was for all our sakes. Earlier, during the recon mission, I'd taken out an ace called Taiki Hasegawa from the 13th. I'd fought three of their top guys, but I still hadn't had a chance to fly against Shunagawa. The Japanese commander at Betio Island had promised it would take a million men a hundred years to take Tarawa. Rear Admiral Shibasaki, the commander there, had spent years fortifying the island. He'd put in new layered defenses that gave mutual support. When we did land there, after just a few hours of bombing, our Marines were cut to pieces by the Japs. The first wave suffered almost total casualties. Eventually we took the island, but not before we lost 1,500 men. The Japs lost over three times that many. Tara was a learning experience for us, a lesson in how not to take an island from the Japanese. The rest of 43 was quiet. We all pulled our fleets back for repairs and refitting. Back home, though, things weren't quiet. Our factories were running at full speed, Back then, we churned out 7,000 planes a month, compared to just 1,500 that the Japanese could produce. It wasn't just planes, though. Our shipyards were also running full tilt. Since the start of the war, we'd produced 500 destroyers and escorts. With a shortage of raw materials, the Japs could barely manage 30. <laughs> 